Regan Slaymaker for International Boxing News. And I have the pleasure to be joined by 5 0 super welterweight prospect William Crawler. Will, how are you today, mate? I do, mate. You okay? Yes, mate. All, all good. All good. All the better for talking to you today. I mean, I thought we'd jump straight uh, straight into it. Obviously, back out October the 26th, back in Manchester. I mean, buzzing to be back out on a massive, another massive undercard, mate. Yeah, I can't wait, mate. Like you say, it's the new arena in this city. Um, I'm, I'm buzzing to fight there. I'm glad it didn't happen two weeks ago. Um, but it's all part of the journey, isn't it? It's something, something, something to uh, apprehend and then and obviously take on board that like I've had to delay camp, I've had to switch a few things up. There's an opponent change as well. So I've gone from fighting a southpaw to an orthodox. So the training just flipped on its head. But yeah, it's all good. It's all part of the learning curve. And um, yeah, I can't wait. Definitely. How have you had fi- found that kind of obviously boxing being boxing? These things, these things do happen. But how have you found that kind of uh, adaption period mid camp? It's a bit of a weird one, really, because obviously, like you're expecting, like you're doing all. I think it was only was it three weeks out or four weeks out where it got cancelled. But you're firing on all cylinders, you're sharp, and then you're waiting to fight, and then have a bit of time off, and then back into camp. Whereas I didn't fight, I said a bit of time. It's weird. It's a weird one. Just had a little, a little rest. Um, I always stay in the gym, like I say, it's coffee diet and that, and that's it. But uh, now, yeah, it's a weird one. Definitely, mate. As well, obviously, you're in the new arena as well. Boxing at, but you've boxed. Uh, well, after October 26th, boxed at the two main arenas in Manchester as well. Bit of a historic moment. A guy from Manchester boxing in on the first boxing show in Manchester in the new arena. Yeah, first one to do. It. We're not we're not claiming any accolades for it, but yeah, we're the first one to do it. But uh, nah, yeah, it's, it's another proud moment for me to, to fight there. It is, and uh, it's just another thing to tick off the list. Definitely, mate, as well. And the first fight officially as as a matchroom signed prospect, mate. I mean, buzzing to get this one uh, over the line as well. After having obviously a few fights on the matchroom matchroom roster, but officially an Eddie Hearn prospect now. Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 it's good. It's good to hear, and it, it gives me a lot of confidence as well. Do you know, to have the backing of someone like that and the platform I've got now. But I remember speaking to you before. I think it was my debut. Uh, I think it was at Birmingham. I think we spoke yes, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, it's just gone well. Five fights, four knockouts. I can't really have asked for it to go any better, if I'm honest. And uh, no, yeah, I'm looking forward to carrying it on. Definitely, mate. Obviously, from from your debut as well, uh, from that moment, obviously before we spoke in uh, Birmingham as well, up until now, how have you assessed kind of your development as a pro from that first fight until now? I think it's been pretty good, to be honest. I think it's been very fast, and I think I don't think there's many of the people who's improved as much as they have in that short period of time in them fights. I think uh, I would be one of the lead, like improvements in each fight. I think I am one of the leading ones, but. Um, you continue to see it. I've improved again since April. I'm good. I couldn't show it uh, last week, but you'll see it again in October. You'll see another improve me. I've just been in the gym. People I'm working with is bringing me on every week and um, I can't wait to show it. Definitely. It's a bit of a catch-22 when, when a prospect gets a load of a load of knockouts, obviously, so early on in their career. Obviously, you kind of want the streak to keep going, but you also want rounds at the same time as well. Where do you kind of uh, sit or sit on that? Nah, that streak's going for as long as can keep it. Yeah. <laughs> It for I put the rounds in the gym. I, I do more than enough rounds in the gym. That's where you do your learning. That's where the cra- the graphs put in. Like fight night's just a small part of it. Just what everyone gets to see. And I, I I've been sort of close friend of mine in boxing. Like he said, he said don't worry about about knockouts. It was Callum Smith. He said don't worry about knocking people out. That's what gets people entertained. Like no one wants to see someone win on points. He says you get the rounds in the gym, and uh, that's exactly what I'm doing. Definitely. I mean, you've just name dropped someone, uh, someone pretty big there, Will. I mean, what's it like kind of having someone as big as Callum Smith kind of give you advice in the boxing game as well? No, yeah, it's great. Like I say, I think the start of his career took, well, it was very similar to the thing. I think he, he, how many first round stoppages did he have? I am a joker with him when he had, um, I think he won his first on points. And then I think they have, he might have had seven first round stoppages. I had two, but I was joking saying I was coming for him. <laughs> a second and back to the first but no nah, it's good it, it's great it's, it's like you say it's priceless it's priceless thing like I can just go and ask someone like that or I say obviously Anthony or I grew up with him in the gym I've seen many of the British greats in the gym I've been close to him and that nah, is a massive help like you can't buy you can't buy experience Definitely as well. One bit of experience I wanna I wanna touch on as well. Obviously, you had some time in the US. Obviously, you had um, Robbie Davis Jr. in the gym for a bit. Obviously, for his fight of Ivan Redcatch. But you got in a few yeah. rounds rounds over there as well. 
I always like it when prospects, whether it be for a stablemates camp or whoever, go go over to America and kind of you hear some sparring stories when prospects go over there and things like that. But how how was your experience over there mixing it with the best? Nah, it was good. Like I say, was, do you know what was mad was there was not the pro box things and they stopped talking to some some coach in there. I just boxed. I boxed the week before, and he went, "What do you weigh?" I went, "One for about one sixty." When do you want to spar? I was like. Yeah, go on then. I'll, I'll then, <laughs> then I was talking to kid who it was going to be. He went to the Olympics for heat airs and Olympium. A top prospect over there. I think he's 10 and all nine knockouts. And just good rounds, man. It's just good good rounds to be mixing it with someone like that. And uh, just just a good spa. Like, also makes you realise that the level that you're at as well. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's a massive confidence booster. And then I come home with sparring Crocker. It's just just massive, massive confidence booster. Joe, when you're having good rounds of the fighters like, like I've just named, it, it's... It's uh, it's good stuff. Definitely. Does it obviously you mentioned Lewis Crocker there? I mean, fight of the year contender with uh, Connor Walker as well. Does it kind of obviously it, it shows you where you're? You mentioned it there. Shows you your level now in the boxing games. Gives you a bit of confidence knowing where where you can go. Obviously, in five ten fights time. Yeah, that's where I'm wanting to be. Like I'm looking. I'm wanting to be in them fights. I'm I'm wanting to be in there mixing it with with uh, well, at that level like they're mixing that. Yeah, you say that was a brilliant fight, and I, I could only wish to be in a fight like that. I know it sounds mad wanting to be in a fight like that, but I could only wish to be in a fight like that. And that is the stuff I'm aiming for. No, definitely as well. I mean, what a fight. I might rewatch that later. It was a great, it was a great scrap as well. Obviously, stable mate, um, Rhiannon Dixon as well. I mean, yeah. I feel bad for Rhiannon and Terry. I feel like the the fight's bouncing around the UK, but it's finally got a location. And uh, I mean, fully expecting to Rhiannon Dixon to do the uh, to do the business against. I mean, it's obviously career career probably hardest fight on paper today. Yeah, no, nah, definitely it is. But I see the work Rhiannon puts in and she's improved. Like, Rhiannon's improved as well. I don't think that was the best Rhiannon you saw back in April. I think there's a lot of pressure on her. Uh, the only girl to beat that girl before that was Katie Taylor on points. Rhiannon dropped her on, on the way to doing that. But Rhiannon's got a lot more to show and I believe she'll show it this fight. I think uh, she's looked great in training and um, I think it'll be a big Rhiannon Dixon performance. Definitely. I'm, I'm going to ask you this because uh, I, I agree with it mainly. Have you think... In every fight that we've seen them, do you think Rhiannon's one of the most improved fighters the UK's got at the moment? Definitely. Like you've only just got to look where 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 Rhiannon's come from, and she's come from white collar to a world champion in how many fights? Do you know what I mean? And that's credit to herself as well. And she put I see the graph she puts in. She's one of the hardest trainers I've ever seen, and that's a big credit to herself. Definitely, mate, as well. I mean, Will, we've absolutely smashed through my questions. Have you got any final words for the fans heading to uh, the Carp Arena on October 26th, mate? Nah, tune in. Another, another William Crowder knockout. That's, that's what I'm going for. Like, so everyone asks that. Uh, do you want rounds? Nah, I don't want rounds. I want, I want knockouts. And uh, that's what I'm going to continue to try and get. Definitely. Well, I look forward to seeing the knockout in the Carp Arena on October 26th. William Crowder, cheers, mate. Thank you very much. Thanks.